Hey tankers, welcome back to channel. Today, we're going to do something new. We're going to do a tank review. I'm going to start a new series on this. I'm going to start um, pulling out tanks to review every now and then uh, tanks that I like. Today, we're going to do a review on the Britannia Panther. This is our Britannia Panther review and guide. Um, just a really quick background. I did not buy tanks and chests and stuff hoping to pull this out. Um, the chest. The only way you get this was out of a random chest and you had to buy another tank. And I happened to buy the French drummer uh, pack, which included the tier 8 Lorraine and the tier 7 AMX 1357. So, and, and I was buying it for those tanks. I just thought, what the heck? And I didn't realize that there was chests to get the Britannia Panther. And I got lucky and pulled out this tank on the fourth chest out of five. Anyways, I thought I would do something here. I'm going to give you a little bit of re review of where the Britannia Panther came from. So the Britannia Panther is actually a Panther tank that in World War II, right after the Battle of Normandy, the French resistance fighters who had been holding the line against the Germans in World War II up to that point decided they want to have a big part in pushing the Germans and the Nazis out of France. So they started grabbing anything they could do. The Britannia Panther was actually a, ta a Panther that they s grabbed and put together and put, put back together enough to work and use. And of all the tanks they were grabbing, um, the French d decided they were going to name each one of their tanks after the area they were from. And the crew for this tank was from Britannia, France. So anyways... We're going to go and talk about this tank a little bit. So let's talk about the gun because really everything right now, and as far as I'm concerned, is about the gun. Um, this has the lowest gun that comes on, the, the beginning gun that comes on the Panther 1, a tier 7, and this is a tier 6. It's the 7.5 millimeter KWK 42L70 F, FL or FC, something like that. Um, gun. Anyways, the reload has a, with all the bells and whistles, I got um, both, I got double rations and I have the rammer installed. It gives me a reload of 5.05 .05 seconds. Um, and, and as you're looking right here watching this, you can see this gun is a laser beam. I mean, it may not do the best damage. It has an alpha of 160 for AP, APCR does 135, and HE does 200. But you're, you can look, I'm backing up and I, I nail the top hatch of that KV-1S. Just, just, I look, fire, boom, I hit, I hit him for 160. Um, you know, and that's how this gun is. It's a typical German gun where here's another one. Look, I reach out, put, the, put a shot in this guy. I'm watching him, he doesn't move. Let's give him another one. And that's how this gun works. It, it is just a reliable gun. This is, is a, um, it's not a high alpha. It, it's just a, a high uh, DPM gun, not even high DPM. I mean, it's it's not great, but with a low alpha, but, it, but it's reliable. And if you put yourself in the right positions, you can definitely play it and do this. So anyways, the gun has eight degrees of gun depression, which is not bad at all for a medium tank or for is certainly for a German medium and it has 20 degrees it'll go up. The tank has a top speed of 55 kilometers per hour, and you're gonna reach that pretty quickly if you're going downhill. Other than that, it's a little bit of a struggle to get up to speed. Um, that seems to be kind of a, a thing with the German uh, mediums, you know, the regular Panthers and, and the Panther II, the E50 and the E50M. Um, they have a good top speed when they get up to it, but it takes a little while to get there. Um, and it's just because these are tend to be bigger medium tanks and that also makes because they're a pretty solid thing they're really good at ramming people so make sure that if, if, if you like to ram people this is a tank you can get away with it doing it so make sure on your consume on your equipment you put the rammer protection and not the um, the protective kit um, and, and that'll help you with your rams um, anyways continuing um, the power to rate ratio is 20.5. I'm really not sure how that works, but it sounds like it's a good number, so I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> uh, the last number I want to share with you is the hull turn rate. It has a 44.07 degrees per second. Um, this has a good turn rate. 
you're not you may see od if you're in a quicker light tank but i wouldn't count on it this is a really good tank it turns really quick and it feels really good when you're operating it so um, anyways that's enough about numbers let's get into the tank so here we are finishing this tank off um like i said this tank is really good with a, a quick gun you're able to get into positions put a shot out and, and nail it on my equipment slots i have the gun rammer installed um, the reason i went with the gun rammer is because i compared numbers for the penetration which like i said the regular ap round is penetrating 150 um, or 160 millimeters pen and um no sorry no i was right 150 and i checked and went through and i'm not doing blitz stars or anything like that but i went through and i checked all of the um tier six heavies and the tier six mediums and the tier six tvs all the ones that i own and just kind of look through the the tech tree um the best armor at tier six that i could find was the tier six churchill tech tree heavy tank and it had 152 millimeters of, of armor up front so you're not going to pin that up front and then you probably don't want to be facing a churchill from the front anyways um now the arl 44 has 100 millimeters but remember that sloped armor so effective it's a lot more and you'll have trouble tip pinning that from the front as well but other than that everything else in this tank you're going to pin from the front um, i did not compare numbers to the tier sevens um, because truthfully if you're playing a medium tank you probably shouldn't be pinning to heavies from the front anyways you should be hitting them from the sides and back and in the turret and stuff so if you're counting on shooting somebody from the front you better not be using a medium Anyways, moving on, as you can see on this map, um, I went to the side, to the A side, following the guys, and they kind of split up and went their own way, and I've kind of noticed that um, it looks like their whole team has gone A side. Um, so I turned around at a U-turn and got out of dodge. I briefly considered holding up at that midway point to try and hold them up there, um, and then that Magnus came around the corner and, and bounced a shot at me, and it changed my mind. Um, so I ran around the corner here, I'm looking around me and I see that um, pretty much everybody has went towards B base, um, but they've already capped C, so I didn't get a cap on C. I see there's a T-71 on the hill. Um, I don't get a shot at him, but I know this other team, the rest of the team is coming at me on this side. Well, I'm gonna back up and use this hill and use my eight degrees of gun depression. And me and this AMX 1375 down there, you're going to hold everybody hostage. This whole red team, they can't move forward because, well, you know, they're all focusing that AMX down there pretty much, and he's getting, he just got deleted. But I am holding everybody in place here. They can't push. They don't, they're, they're afraid of pushing because every time they push, look, bam, another hit. And you just use your gun depression. I've already bounced um, 725 damage right now. And there's another one. So... You know, your armor in this tank is not great. Um, certainly your hull armor is pretty weak. I'm not gonna go into numbers with that. But with your eight degrees of gun, gun depression, you can get away with some playing hull down. Um, that challenger over there, he did pen me, but he's also bounced a shot on me as well. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. You wanna play this tank as a sniper hull down. Um, that's my biggest, biggest, tip panther tanks are not a meant to be a frontline medium this does not have the the upgraded hull armor and armor that the panther that the tier 7 panther has um it, it does not it, it has a tier, it has tier 6 level armor so um and that's probably more a lot more like what the original armor on the tier 7 panther used to be uh, which was pretty weak so you don't want to be putting yourself in position to be fighting and blowing too much um, and just be in a direct line of fight. If you're one-on-one -on, -one on somebody and you have the hit point advantage, then yeah, sure, why not? You know, if you get away with it, if you think you can get away with it, then why not? Um, but truthfully, you, know, you want to be playing this tank all down. You want to be using the gun to its advantage. It's a laser beam. It's not high alpha. But it's with a 5.05 second re reload, and it's a lot lower when you hit the adrenaline. 
it really helps. It's a good tank, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I had a lot of information to cover. As always, thanks for watching. Guys, we'll catch you next time, and until then, good hunting.